Aha! Excellent stuff. There we are back. I do apologize for that. I don't really know what happened, but um, we seem to lose the Zoom, but we're back, of course. So excellent stuff. And thank you very much for joining us. Wonderful stuff. Um, come and join us. That's better. Gavan, what happened? I don't know. The, the camera fell forward. I grabbed it and I couldn't see how to zoom it out again. Very, very strange. Does that look a bit better? All you could see was my nose. <laughs> Bit of a close-up there. Wonderful stuff. I felt like I was in for an operation. <laughs> it was a very close view of you. Absolutely, Gavan. Anyway, here we are. We're all back together, and that's what matters. Fantastic stuff. Will this, Gavan, did this just pop up again? Matt, thank you. Did it pop up again? Sorted. Thank you, James. My sincere apologies, guys, for that. So there we were. We were right in the middle of some very interesting chat, and it's amazing just the outpouring of grief and empathy for Her Majesty the Queen. So many wonderful people. Everybody should be pro the monarchy because without it, we are nothing. So there we are. It's as strange as that, especially after Brexit, when we're, we're you know, the monarchy has saved this country on so many occasions. You wouldn't actually know. So there we are. Now, what do we got here? Who's put this rubbish up? Let's see. Don't believe that for a second. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Lovely. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. We troll on there. Um, I hope you're well. Thank you, Gavan. Yes, absolutely. Very, very well indeed. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. Can you all follow me, please? Very important. We're very short on followers. Always have been. But we're huge on uh, on viewers. And I find that very strange. Well, yes, user, you never, ever ask anybody about pronouns. There we are, because it's actually divisive. And uh, that's good to hear. Good news. We can go home to Australia soon. Yes, wonderful. Scotty, need some advice, me old mate. Snowy Blades, you press on, and we'll see what we can do for you. You know, Scotty McClure is always willing to uh, offer, proffer a helping hand when we're on the lives. So there we are. Now, I, Chuck, we don't reveal anything on here. You're used to doing that kind of junk when you go to troll other people's lives. This is totally different. This is Scotty McClure. Yes, we are very, very big on here. Fantastic. And you need to take a, a wee think about that. I don't think it's divisive. It's more respectful. What's more respectful? Good vibe. Tell us more about that. So there we are. What were we talking about that you thought was uh, was divisive or more respectful? There we are. Right. Guys, can I have some follows, please, as soon as you can? Because uh, uh, we need to build up the followers. Thank you, Scotty. How do from Barnsley? Hi, Rob. We love Barnsley. A hey, up, Chuck. Thanks for following, guys. Respectful to ask pronouns. No, 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 no. Not respectful at all. Respectful to ask nouns. What are your nouns? My nouns are Scotty McClure. My naming words. There we are. Uh, so what you're doing is trying to create a them and us. There we are. My ex is chatting nonsense and recording me without permission. Snowy Blaze. Don't be recording each other at all. You can get yourselves into some uh, problems. So there we are. Uh, follow us, guys. That would be lovely. You did ask. Yes, you asked. Absolutely. So there we are. Um, I'm off, brother. Sorry I wasn't on here much tonight. Gavan, not at all. What time do you have in Indonesia? You know, do tell us before you go. Um, and I'm sorry, that uh, where in Scotland are you from? We're from the west, west of Scotland. Um, hi, everybody, dinky do. Uh, Scottish censorship when we criticise the royals. There we are, right, absolutely. We might do that as well, actually, make criticising the royal family uh, against the law, because I've noticed one or two wee trolls who have had their heads stuffed with nonsense cheeking up about the royals. It's 6.33, it's dinner time. Ah, 6.33, and we are 12.33. So 6.33 in the evening, so you're six hours ahead. Dinky-doo, Scotty McClure. 
This is some guy, bruv, dinky do, absolutely, absolutely, bruv, you're some old guy. Um, oh, nice, nice, Gavan, wonderful. So it's a midday on a Sunday, plus 34. You know, this is British summertime, of course. Uh, so there we go, because uh, Greenwich Mean Time would be 11.34. Wonderful. All the best, brother. Back later. Dinky do, brother. ta -ra -la. There we are. Fantastic. Scotty should have sent the police. No, don't be sending that, for goodness sake, because it could be seen as heat. So there we are. There we are. Top stuff, right? No name. You need to go. We don't have stuff like that on here. You're on the wrong stream. You get on to the usual caca that you're used to streaming on. Get that sorted. Right, can everybody follow us? It's snowing in Killy. It snowed here yesterday. I went out to the shops and it was snowing. For goodness sake. Guys, here's what you're watching if you've just joined us. Scotty McClure, the first lot of the internet. We're live on TikTok, dinky do. Follow, like, and share, enjoy, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And here's what you do for following. A friend sent me this, and I, I just wrote it down. Uh, you go up to the left-hand corner, top left-hand corner. You tap the plus sign on the top left, and that's how you follow. So a lot of people thought, I don't know how to follow. So there we are. Very, very interesting, isn't it? Uh, the Lord Mac, you need to go and uh, get dumped. That's you. Bye. <laughs> Half wit. There we are. Now, uh, what have we got here? Where did you get the hat, Scotty? Do you like the hat? It's wonderful, wonderful. Now then, do you need a moderator? Uh, not really, Matthew. These are poor wee souls who don't really know what they are doing on TikTok. And they like to go on to people's lives and see if they can disrupt the live. Thank you for that lovely gift. Uh, see if they can uh, d disrupt the live. And then they've never experienced something of the high caliber of something like Scotty McClue. So they don't know what to do, so they do the same thing. Sarah, thank you so much for these beautiful roses. Guys, Sarah's sending me 10, 11. Sarah, what are you doing? She's sending me beautiful, beautiful roses live on TikTok. She's just sent 20 TikTok roses to Scotty McClure. Incredible. So there we are. What do we got here? I used to listen to you through the night on the radio. Absolutely, James, you did indeed. So there we go. The Lord, you had to go for being an idiot. Guys, can you follow me, please? We're very short on followers. There's only one Scott or two. I have literally, genuinely, hundreds of thousands of viewers. And don't ask me how come it doesn't show up yeah, we get them there. Scotty, you're not very controversial as the censorship. Johnny boy, you can't be controversial when you don't have the phones. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> That's something you're missing. We don't have the phones. Saud, thank you for your lovely red roses. There we go. I mind listening to you on the radio a few years ago. Mad Hatter, was that not the finest radio show in the country? So there we are. Now, did you bet on the GGs yesterday, Scotty? No, I don't actually... Uh, like the Grand National, because I get anxious about the horses. There we are. But there we are, the sport of kings. I love your accent. I'm Scottish, but your voice is fab. Adele, I don't think I've got an accent. I think I'm just Scottish. I think that's the way I speak. Most people in Scotland speak like this. Have you ever been to Airdrie, Scotty? Yes, jump off at the cross. S-C-O-T-T-I-E. Let me wear my sunglasses. Your light is so shiny. What a lovely thing to say. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Uh, 20. Sarah has sent 20 red roses. Guys, that's beautiful. Uh, please follow me. Scotty McClure, this has to be a joke. What has to be a joke? You haven't told us a joke. I don't drink alcohol. Or well, that. No, I don't. I did at one point. Can you say happy birthday to my sister and tell her to have a wild night? I will, Willy Wonka. Where are you? So there we go. 
Gotta support the Scottish people. What do you identify as? I identify as Scotty McClure. These are my nouns. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Please. Um, so there we go. Who have we got here? And uh, just support things. You don't ask all that. That's the vice of we're inclusive on here. Celtic Rangers says, boys, go and see them both play, boys, and make up your mind. They're both good teams, so, you know, you might have a bit of a, a difficult decision. You could follow the Rangers. You could follow the Celtic. Who's sending me diamonds? Maria. Stop. You're so generous. Guys, Maria has got to be one of the most generous thoughtful people in the world and she sends scotty mcclude diamonds my goodness maria i do get anxious that you're sending all your pennies i think most of us scottish think we don't have an accent yes i think that's right we just speak with quality from scotland good afternoon from hamburg guten tag hamburg yeah Nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Danke schon, danke. Danke, Hamburg. And guten, guten Tag. There we are. Please follow us. Thank you so much, Maria, for sending a Diamond King. St. Mirren till I die. Oh, well, you'll be a long time with St. Mirren, hopefully. There we are. Do you not like to support a few others in between? Are you, are you a St. Mirren man? So there we are. And dinky do we say. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Right. Uh, I was going to say to your telephones there. Do you like Nicola Sturgeon? She's an outstanding First Minister and an excellent politician. And she's done a wonderful job for Scotland. So it would be very hard not to like her. Shh, I'm trying to sleep, says Equits. Guys, can we be quiet, please? Equits is trying to sleep. Quiet! I've told them he quits, so you should be able to drop off now. No problem at all. Scotty, your thoughts about any more towns? Uh, oh, in East Lothian. Well, where did we get? We got to Kakenzie, didn't we? Do you know Kakenzie had a wonderful boat building yard? Weatherheads of Kakenzie. They built fishing boats. Uh, Scotty, I thought any more time. So what did we have? We had Drem, we had Aberlady, we had Whitekirk, we had uh, Dunbar, we had North Berwick, we had um, Skate Raw, we had um, Musselbra, we had, uh, what's, what's the others in between? What's the lovely one? I used to buy fish, fresh fish, straight out the sea. There we are. It'll come back to me. Uh, so Diddleton, did we do Diddleton? Very, very important. Did we do East and West Saltoon? Did we do Penn Caitland? Did we do, um, well, Haydenton, of course, Haydenton. Uh, did we do Haydenton? Um, did we do Ternant? Ternant, Ormiston. Uh, where else are we still to do? Uh, Coosland. Did we do Coosland? Yes, very, very important. Did we do um, Elphinstone? Did we do Elphinstone? Did we do... Um, ah, we're doing well, aren't we? Don't tell me we're not doing well. Did we do Preston Pans? The Pans. Did we do... Um, a, did we do the Mary? Did we do the Mary? What about that? There we are. There's the Mary. Is that any good? Scotty, what do you think of Leeds versus Man City? I think that will be an excellent match. Good day from South Africa. We love South Africa. And good day to you. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I'm from a place in Scotland famous for runaway weddings. Well, that's most places in Scotland, Sarah. Um, <laughs> see what I just did there? You'll be from the beautiful Gretna Green. I know it so well, and Annan and Creeker, the old Ordnance Factory. Do you know East Riggs? Do you know Carlisle? There we are, Creeker. Do you know Middle Bay and Cannon Bay? Oh, these places are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous places. Edinburgh, didn't you do? I'm, in, I'm from Aberdeen. Are you from Aberdeen? Well, you take care of yourself. It's lovely to hear you on here. They're a record good kind of falcon. I'm a St. Mirren man all the way. It's nice to see that, Callum. There we are. Fantastic. 
Uh, now, who we got here? Uh, follow us, please, guys, if you can. I'm face Shetland. For a birds in Shetland, again. Are you, uh, are you free, uh, what have we got now? Are you free the Lerwick? Are you free outside of the Lerwick? <laughs> there we are. Now, here's a guy going sniffer line. Right, here we are. To be or not to be, that is the question. How's that for a line? Yes, there's a line for you. Uh, do you know the Jamaican flag was invented by a Scot? Just Chris, virtually everything was invented by a Scot. It, we had a wonderful, wonderful... Winston Churchill, and they need to remember this, and Boris needs to take this on board. Winston Churchill said, only the ancient Greeks have done more for civilization than the Scots. What about that? So there we are. Uh, now, what have we got? Do you support stuff? We're all inclusive on here. Uh, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? All of them. There were, hi, I'm from Northern Ireland. Lovely to have you from Northern Ireland. And dicky do I say. I see you live all the time. Every time I see you, it makes me happy. I thank you. I'm not live all the time, but we do pop up from time to time and say hi to not just one nation, but to the world. And I think that's very important. Guys, can everybody follow me, Look, Scotty McClure. And also, can you go on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel? Now, if you look beside my profile on TikTok, you'll see the little Instagram logo. Tap that and it will take you to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Could somebody try it out? Kane says, have you been to Argyle? Argyle is where my family come from for the last 700 years. They gave the monks of Paisley Abbey the land to build the abbey. Well, I know Argyle inside out. Which part of Argyle are we talking? Marlon says, hi, sir, watching from Philippines. We love you, watching from the Philippines. Outstanding. So there we are. A thoughts on Newton Mayans, a very, very beautiful part of the world, stuffed with beautiful people. So there we are. That's all I can say about that, um, to my knowledge. Now, follow me, please, guys. Tap the plus sign at the top left, because we're very short on followers. Let's have a follow fest, please. And I'll see if it shows up here. And can somebody volunteer to go and like the videos? All right. Very, very important. So share the video and tell everybody that we're on. I can do some sharing here, but you tend to disappear if I do that. We lose you. Do you know what I'm saying? We lose you. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live right across the universe on TikTok Live. Good afternoon, Scotty. Thank you, do. Uh, I just dropped by to wish you success. Take care. Dale Heron, I thank you very much. You take care. Uh, what's your favorite rapper? Oh, um, Eminem. Well, they're my favorite sweets, but the big yellow rapper that they're in, I love that as well. So there we are. Um, come and join us. Uh, thank you for following. Very much appreciated. If everybody can follow as soon as they come on, that would be brilliant. Can somebody go and follow some videos? videos. You'll make a great weather reporter. Draco, what a lovely thing to say. Hello, the weather now, as you can see, very, very, very wet and windy for the rest of the week, taking us through to Wednesday. Then a little bit of high pressure coming in from the east. <laughs> All that stuff. Hello. Hello, the Ito. Lovely. The Ito. The Ito. The Ito. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-do. Uh, guys, I need somebody to um, go on and like the videos on TikTok and tell me when they've done it. So tell me when you're going to like them and tell me when you've done it. You could cut a hedge with that voice. What a lovely thing to say. Thank you. Yes, I love it, says Draco. Dinky-do, Draco. What have we got here? No, uh, funny, what are you talking about? You're saying you're funny TikTok, but you haven't said anything funny. <laughs> you're talking about Lazarus. 
That I don't think that was funny, but it was clever. Lazarus arrives. Hi, says Erin. What a lovely name, Erin. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Can you say hello to Daryl? Of course I can say hello to Daryl. Yes, we can all we can all say hello to Daryl. There we are. I'm just going to check. Yes, I'm very short on followers, guys. Can everybody follow? Uh, I've been here every day for the past five days. Mr. Mac, thank you. Have you followed me? We're very short on followers, but lots of you. You'll be watching the Masters tonight. I am the Master D10. So there you are. Fantastic. Yes, I am the king of TikTok Live. And apparently the lives are going right up the top, guys. So this is the start of something very, very big. Hi, Scotty Big Jimmy McDonald working in Ireland. The sun's shining. We love it. The sun always shines in Ireland. Fantastic. North and south. There we are. Eee! Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. And a very warm welcome, I say, to Scotty McClue Live on TikTok. Now, you'll all be going for your lunch. So um, we'll do a few more minutes. I'll maybe give you a wee tune on the squeeze box. If you can do the liking, who did you bet yesterday? I don't gamble. The sun is shining in West Sussex today. Sussex by the sea. You look like Captain George. Well, somebody said I looked a bit like the captain in the Bob's Eye advert. Do you remember that? And uh, so I've got my hat, you see. <laughs> there you go. Now then, you like my fish fingers? <laughs> what about that? How good is that, guys? A wee change of headgear. Do you like it? My captain's cap. There we are. Fantastic. Hello. Uh, the Grand National. Yep, I don't do the Grand National. Do you ever sleep every time I come in this app? You're live. Good. That's the sign of dedication. Well done from both of us. Well done, I say. Excellent stuff. If you just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. And you're watching Scotty McLean, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we are live. Apple pie or carrot cake, both. I'd have apple pie with custard after my lunch, and then I'd have a cup of tea and a piece of carrot cake uh, around uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What about that? You're always on my live feed. Good Ollie J. We like that. That means TikTok is doing its stuff. There we are. Now, um, you mustn't say things like that, RL. That's a wee bit rude. A wee bit rude. There we are. We'll dump RL because he has uh, been rude. Rude about Prince Philip. Tut, tut. You're much younger looking than Captain Bud's eye. I thank you very much. Very good of you. I'll do a quick change act. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> now, what have we got? Do you like the squeeze box? I'll give you a wee tune on the squeeze box. I know you like that. So there we are. And we'll see what is what. Okay? Would that be nice for you? A wee tune on Scotty's squeeze box. There. <sighs> Now, what did we do? Did you like that, guys? 
I'll wait you on the squeeze box for you. I know people do enjoy that. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. What a lovely thing to say, Adele. I'm glad there are still people like you. Yes, absolutely. And I'm glad there are still people like Prince Philip. But obviously, we're one down this week. That's very good. I thank you, Ollie. Very, very kind of you. I thought you might enjoy that. Just a wee smile. A wee smile in the squeeze box. I checked out your YouTube yesterday. Great content. Yeah, guys, can everybody check out the YouTube? If you click on the logo uh, for Instagram beside my profile there, pardon me, a bit of indignation. If you check that out, then uh, you'll find that it must be the squeeze box. You'll find that you can get on direct to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and do actually have a look at that. I enjoyed that. Thank you, Adele. What does dinky do mean? It means is all well with you and the world, Odd. Very good for you. Love your hat. I thank you. Thank you for coming and joining us. Thank you there. And uh, also, can you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure Live? I've sent you likes, Scotia. Thank you. I will check and see if they've shown up. So there we are. Let's just see. Yes, they have. Well done, you. Very, very good, guys. Can everybody follow me if you haven't followed me, please? That's a bot at the TikTok live stream king. Ollie J, although I say it myself, apparently this is doing very, very well on TikTok. It's very strange. So there we are. That's also one of the most important Mexican music instruments, the Notino Banda. Notino. Have I said it the right way, Siga? Siga, Nortino Banda. There we are. Thank you for following us, guys. If you can all follow, it would be very much appreciated. Scotia says I've sent 107 likes. Now, Scotia, what did that mean? Did that mean you liked the TikTok videos? Yes. Let me just see what happens here. Can everybody go like some TikTok videos? Tell me when you're going and tell me when you're back. And I'll check the figures, guys. That would be wonderful. Love your badge. Alpha, you need to grow up and have some manners. Ollie says you're very talented. Here's a badge for you guys. Look. <laughs> the most desirable man in the world. A beautiful, beautiful lady sent that to me. <laughs> How good is that? I think I'll put it on. <laughs> I don't think it's... I mean, I am the world's most humble man. I don't think it would be arrogant to put it on, would it? We don't want that. I wouldn't like anybody to think I was being a bit big on it, you know, just because I'm the world's most desirable man. There we are. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Okay, I'll go and like your videos. Adele, you are such a gem. Uh, damn, Scotia, a real one. Dracos, absolutely. Come on here and have a bit of fun. You're very talented, I thank you. Aha, you're a genuinely charming man. Lee, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. I thank you. Um, now, what we need to do is everybody needs to follow me, if you haven't already done so. Apparently, it's up at the top left. There's a wee plus sign at the top left. So if you can all follow me there, that would be tremendous because hundreds of thousands come and view us. Uh, you know, should I go to Scotland? Maya. Maya? Yes, Maya or Mia. I'll say Maya just now, and you can correct me if it's Mia. Should I go to Scotland? Everybody should go to Scotland at some point in their life. It's wonderful. It's like Ireland. It's where we all originate. It's where all the best ideas are, all the best people. There we are. But no, not really the best people. That's not fair because the world is stuffed with beautiful people. You know, I mean, you look at the other day since Prince Philip died, tiny, tiny, tiny amount of half-witted idiots. But everybody else, very switched on. And uh, you will see the way we announced it in Scotland. Scotty McClue popped up within minutes of it being announced by Buckingham Palace. And we had an idiot on saying, what, what made you announce it? 
It's been on the telly all day. And I said, yes, but when I announced it, it hadn't been on the telly all day. So there we are. So we got it very early. Uh, little Lily, you need to have a serious think about is that where your brain is at at the moment? How poor is that? So there we are. How very, very poor. There we are. are you okay? We're okay, Zach. I thank you very much. Uh, so there we are. Um, hi, hi, everybody. Hi, kid. Very, very good of you. We've got a wee funny name there too. Amusing yourself. Not the rest of us, but yourself. Fantastic. Uh, so guys, if you can follow me, and could somebody volunteer, or could everybody volunteer, to have a look at Scotty's TikTok videos, because some of them are outstanding, apparently. And uh, if you could like them, that would be tremendous. And then I can see if it's adding to our figures. Have you ever been to Harris or Lewis? Do you know, Jamie, I'm ashamed, but I haven't been to Harris and Lewis. I've just worked all my life, and I haven't traveled nearly enough. So I would like to go and see the Herrochs and the Yosochs and say to them, Kamara ha u ha There we are. And I will like all your vids. Ollie J, that would be absolutely super. Guys, if everybody can just go and like the vids, let me know when you've done it, and I can check up here. And can everybody follow me? As soon as you come on, follow Scotty McClure. All right, very important. Top left, and I'll see if anybody's followed us, because we're very tight for follows, and it's just laziness, I think. People are very, very lazy. That's what I find. Uist is beautiful too. Yes, if you are from Uist, you would be a Uist, Chuck. So, Uist is Uist, Chucks. But you've got North Uist and South Uist. So, the Uist, Chucks are North and South. If you're from Stolnavi, you'd be a Yosach. If you're from Harris, you'd be a Herroch. These are beautiful words. If you're from Sky, you'd be a Skeenach. If you're from Isla, you would be an Eelach. If you're from Col, if you're a lady, you would be a Col girl. No, I'll have a think about that. Yes. I wonder if you're from Tyria, you're Tyrinach. There we are. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Gooey. You need to just go away and troll somebody else. Go and look at some other cack that suits you, Guinea. You're not you're not wanted on here. So there we are. Would you ever get anyone else on the live with you as a sort of guest star? Well, Elmanda, we're very early days on the live. I'm just between three and four weeks I've been doing the lives. And they're very, very, very popular. And there's lots of possibilities. I'm going to look at seeing if we could get some phone calls. Maybe get a wee burn or phone or something and try that. And also we might bring on guests and interview them, you know, or interview them and we could play that out in the background. If you go on to Scottish YouTube, uh, hello from Denmark, from Danska. Lovely to have you with us. I liked some of your vids. Excellent. Can you follow me, guys, as soon as you come on? Very, very important. But, um, you know, there's all sorts of possibilities because I think TikTok Live is a very good home for Scotty McClure Live. I'm new. Evan, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. This is TikTok's Top Live. You know, and I think that you'll have great fun. Uh, can everybody follow us as soon as they come on, guys? So we can build our followers a little bit. You know, it's, it's been very disappointing that I've had hundreds of thousands of views, but only uh, a few hundred follow. I don't quite understand that. You know what I mean? My uncle's from Cumbernauld. What's it called? Cumbernauld. Fantastic. Up the custard creams. Okay, says Evan. So there we are. So welcome, welcome. You will love this. And we pop up now and again. We don't pop up enough, but we do pop up. There we are as soon as we can and have a wee chat. Right, guys, I need followers, please. So there we are. Who sent me a TikTok? You very generous TMCD. Very good of us. Do you know how to get coins? I don't, Evan. Do you know how to do them? TMCD, thank you. 
Um, I mean, I don't know how you get coins. Um, anybody know how you get coins? Evan, are you asking or are you telling us? Please tell us if you know how to get coins, because it's very interesting, because people have been so generous on here. Hi, Scotty, how are you doing? Hi, Scotty, I'm back. Lily, welcome back, my dear. TMCD, thank you. So there we are. Uh, TMCD has also sent me a perfume. There we are. Are you trying to tell me something, TMCD? Because somebody once asked, you know, they said, Scotty, you smell gorgeous. Gorgeous me? Mwah. And I was quite taken aback. TMCD, thank you for sending. You've now sent me roses. Yes, lots of them. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Very generous of you. Guys, everybody sending TikTok gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll be able to see them on the screen. I think that's incredible. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, GMCD. I can imagine you use a nice cologne. Well, I do, yes, essence of garlic. <laughs> Thank you for me. Uh, can you say, Carol, you're a Muppet? No, we don't say things like that on here. We're going to say, you're amazing, says D1. D1 Vision, welcome, welcome, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, I thank you from Scotty McClure, from the bottom of my heart and from the heart of my bottom. There we are, fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Who sent 24 TikToks? TMCD, you bankrupt yourself. Thank you so much. What a lovely, lovely thing to do. Very much appreciated as well, I can tell you. Now, has everybody followed us and done some liking? Please go and do some video liking so I can see if it shows up here. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I have COVID. I am so sorry to hear that. But please, I send you strength and wellness. Get well and strong. So there we are. If you have a partner, they're very, very blessed. What a lovely man. Lee, what a lovely, lovely thing to say. Please stop. What a lovely thing to say. Guys, thank you for sending all these lovely gifts. There's Jinmin. Jinmin Man Min Mo has, uh, has sent a lovely, lovely, lovely gift. There we are. I've liked loads of your videos. Adele, thank you so much. And thank you for your lovely kisses and heart. I'm going to see, because we've got to have virtual hugs, haven't we now? I'm going to see if it, yes, it's showing up. Thank you very, very much. That is excellent. Guys, and you do lots of video liking. Hi, how was your life tough? Just very, very tough. You just got on with it. A bit like Prince Philip. You know, I mean, Prince Philip had a very, very tough life, but he needed nearly a 100, and he just got on with it. I mean, I've worked since I was 12. Do you like roller coasters? I once went on one in Southport. Uh, it was quite frightening. No, I don't really like them. No, thank you very much, Ginny, for all your kindness, for sending me TikToks. Very, very good of you guys. You're very, very kind. Very generous. I'm saving up for a new phone, so that will be a great help. There we are. It'll take a long time, but it'll be a great help, and thank you so much. So there we go. So by the time this one just gives up the ghost, I might have enough. Uh, so there we are. Now you are not. Now you are not. What does that mean? So there we are. Guys, can we all share the video, please? And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Everybody will be settling down for Sunday lunch soon. Jinmin, I thank you. You're very, very kind. Jinmin sending every gift on TikTok here. So there we go. I need to go. See ya. See ya. Thank you so much for coming on. Take care of yourself. Who's that? D1 Vision. Thank you. Have a lovely afternoon. Do you like chicken? I do, Dr. Jacob. I had some last night with rice. Chicken and rice. It's one of my favorites. Do you know what I mean? 
Thank you guys for all your lovely gifts. Please share the video and please follow me. If we can get everybody following, then we can start to get that on because it sends a message to TikTok. So tap, 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 tap on your screens as well. Part of that's good. Hello from the Philippines. Says Emily. Emily, I love it. Emily, do you get a lot of Scottish TikToks popping up in the Philippines? There we are. And uh, share and share and share, guys. See if we can get everybody knowing what's going on here. You know, that would be just gorgeous. Just tremendous. And then I could pop up and do more lives for you. Hello from Glasgow. Jimin, you're a Ouija. We thank you. The Ouija's are beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you, says Emily? Emily, I am outstandingly fantastic. Do you see my badge? I forgot it the right way around. Uh, there's, my, there's my badge. I'm very proud of my badge. The world's most desirable man. And the Scotty McClue badges, of course. Hello from London, Simpson. What part of London? Tell us, please. We love London. Uh, Celtic or Rangers, uh, says the Scottish Daddy. Um, go and see them both play. In fact, go along to an old firm match, it's called. It'll either be at Celtic Park, uh, Parkhead, or it'll be at Ibrooks, yes, uh, down at the Copeland Road there, just at Govan. And if you get yourself along there, watch both the teams play, because they're both good teams, and uh, then make up your mind uh, who you're going to support. I would like that. Uh, there's Wiggy saying, up the Royal Artillery. He must be a British Army officer. What's your favourite hat? I've got so many. I've got stacks of them here, you know, And but I love my caps. You know, I love this. This is one. Of, I've had this for 29 years. Oh, no. Scotty McClure has been live for 29 years. How amazing is that? What team do you support? Well, I don't support any financially now, but I support lots and lots of teams. Scotty, I think he means the, it doesn't mean the Royal Artillery. Or the IRE. Oh, no, no, no. You would never, ever say up the IRE. Nobody wants to return to these days. They're gone years and years and years ago. Although I believe there are one or two gangsters and thugs think they're part of it. But no, no, that's that's all gone. Oh, that's gone. In fact, we saw the last of the IRE. Um, when did we see the last of them? At the Good Friday Agreement, 19, was it 1998? So there you are. So they've been away for 23 years minimum. And I would say they've been away for about 50 years. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely, yes, indeed. They were used as a cover for gangsters at one point. Uh, you know, shocking stuff. Uh, but, you know, the Irish people need to sort themselves out. Absolutely. Uh, what's your favourite thing to do? Guys, these are old-fashioned saying. The next you'll be saying, our day will come. Your day came years ago. My great-great-uncle was the IRA. Yeah, that would be about 100 years ago, it would say. And uh, at that point, you know, I mean, have you heard of Michael Collins? Have you heard of Eamon de Valera? These kind of people. So there we go. Now, uh, what have we got here? Yeah, well, you see, Wiggy, there's you coming out with something that's just totally defunct because your days come, you've got your country, you run it, not a problem, it's all there. Everything says, yep, carry on. You know, so we shouldn't be shouting these. Scotty, I thought you said you were 22. I'm 22, Lily, yes, but I've had a very hard life, very tough life. Yeah, Michael Collins, so there you are. That's it. That would be around the time of your great, great uncle, I would say. Uh, 1916, 1920s, that sort of idea. I can't really see you because I'm outside in the sun. Well, Evan, I don't think you'll be missing out. Uh, Irish people want a united Ireland. Yeah, but are they willing to pick up the tab? Because you need to talk to the Taoiseach and to the Doyle and say, do you want to get the bills for Northern Ireland, 
the six counties rejoining us. And when you say Irish people, remember Northern Ireland is stuffed with Irish people. Yes, people from Ireland. So, you know, do they want that? Uh, Wiggy says, uneducated in the matter, clearly you are, Wiggy, yes. But Scotty McClue, you stick with Scotty McClue and I will educate you. Absolutely, I know all that inside out. So there we are. Uh, all right, Wiggy, so there you are. I'm inside now, I can see you. Excellent, Evan, very, very good. We like that. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I've educated Wiggy this morning on Irish politics, even although we don't do politics. Scotty McClue knows exactly what he's talking about, Wiggy. You don't. That's the difference. That's the difference between us. I don't open my mouth unless I know what I'm talking about. You do. And remember, Wiggy, you're better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and prove it. All right? Up the Royal Artillery. Uh, the dog in the picture, yeah, that's Lord Reith. That's Lord Reith, called after the chap that started the BBC when the BBC was a something. There we are. Can you, uh, Scotty, you're very switched on. Absolutely, absolutely. And Wiggy needs to learn that. He needs to come to me and listen, you know, and we'll teach him the genuine background to Ireland. Can you say hello to my best friends, Maya and Sophia? I can. I'm staying on this until dinner's ready. Right, I'll do the same, Lily. We'll stay on till dinner's ready. See you soon, pal. See you, Wiggy. You take care of yourself. And remember, that offer's always there to educate you. I'll teach you the lot. Now, there we go. Who have we got here? Guys, can you follow me, please? Right, I don't understand. Which is the best place, in your opinion, to live in Scotland? All of it. All of it. Although somebody once said to me, don't go to an island. And I don't know why they said that. I said, I think I'll maybe go up the West Coast. They said, don't, don't go to an island. Why would they say that? Who can tell me? Uh, so there you are. Your opinion on Thatcher starving the Irish business? Well, nobody thinks well of that. But your opinion on the murder of Lord Mountbatten, your opinion on the bombing of the uh, hotel in Brighton, your opinion on all that, your opinion on rioting, your opinion on all, do you see what I mean? So when you put something in context, it's different to just ask about it. I wish the wall was still up between England and Scotland. Uh, which side are you on cooking? <laughs> Why would you want a barrier? That's what's causing the problems in Ireland. The Brexit has put a barrier up when it used to be just open house. I remember having a drink in an hotel in Cork and the guy asked me, he said, how did you come down? I said, I came through the tunnel. He went, there's no tunnel in Cork. And then his friend said, oh, they opened a new one yesterday. I said, oh, it was brand new. He said, they don't know what to be doing with the money next. And I said, listen, I'm going up to the north tomorrow. Um, so uh, do I have to have anything for the border? And they went, no. there's no border nowadays. So there you are, you see. That's real Scottish and Irish people talking. Yes, man, open borders. Why close them? Absolutely, even an independent Scotland would have an open border because we'd be trading with England. You know, there's no doubt about that. What do you think of an independent Scotland? I think, Anna, economically, Scotland could do very, very well as an independent country. There's no doubt about that. But I'm not political, so I don't get involved in the argy-bargy. The political argy-bargy. Oh, that water. Scottish water. We should export that. <laughs> it is just delish. Haggis, yes or no? Yes and no. <laughs> Depending on how I'm feeling. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, everybody. Thank you for coming and joining us. You're very welcome. Um, I know you're all having Sunday lunch. Could somebody follow me, please? We're needing some followers. Yes, I shouldn't have to beg for followers. You should all be racing to follow. Guys, does somebody want to go and uh, like some videos? Do you play games? 
Scotty, what do you think about Boris breaking the Good Friday Agreement by wanting to put a border? Well, you see, I thoroughly, thoroughly disagree with all of Brexit. I thought it was appalling. And it was just working people from the back. They played on their xenophobia. They played on their ignorance. And now almost 70 million people have been robbed, robbed of EU citizenship. So we can't go anywhere. We can't get jobs in Europe. You know what I mean? Hello, Fife, Fife. Think you do from the kingdom. So there we are. So I disagree with that. Do you play gams? I don't know. What's a gam? <laughs> <laughs> You're back. It's lovely to have you back. Yes, probably now out of Brexit, you'll get better. I've grown listening to Irish, Scottish, and English. Cigar, absolutely, but Brexit was a terrible thing. Credit is a good thing. Well, I would say credit where credit's due, Ryan. You know, that would be a good thing, and dinky do. Opinions on Bloody Sunday as well, Scotty. The 1920s, the British forces stormed Croke Park. Yes, well, obviously, I thoroughly disagree with that. But again, it's got to go into context. And apparently, the barrels were getting fired on from windows. Do you know what I mean? And that's obviously unacceptable. Once you start producing weapons, the game's up for for. Uh, for terrorism, you know, I mean, it's, they've lost the plot. And, you know, we know, regardless if somebody had sympathy for the IRA, that disappeared the second Lord Mountbatten died. You know, absolutely the second. What's your preferred political party? We well, see, I'm apolitical. I see the big picture, Ryan. I have a look at how everyone's doing, and I'll make a comment, and it'll be an informed comment. Your thoughts on Greenock? I love it. I'm desperately sad to see it depopulated. When I lived in Greenock, there were 75,000 people in Greenock. All the shipyards were working. The sugar houses were working. There's James Mack saying up the Royal Artillery. Uh, Trump or Biden? Well, Trump's gone, so it's got to be Biden really, hasn't it? You know, it's got to be Biden. Ginman, thank you for all the generosity that you're sending. You beautiful, beautiful people. Ryan, you bankrupt yourself. Heavens, oh, Ryan's just sent 20, 21, 22. Ryan, Ryan Davies guys are sending me huge, huge TikToks. And Jin Min's sending me huge roses again. So, so generous. The Lord Mountbatten. Yes, indeed. Are you a conservative? Well, I don't know what you mean by that. I'm a political. Is a conservative not a political thing? You see what I mean? I don't quite know what is a conservative. What do they stand for? You know, because the only reason the conservatives got in in the UK is because the UK like right wing and they also um, are driven by the business people and the business people didn't want Jeremy Corbyn because they were frightened they might have to pay more tax. Do you see what I mean? The party of business. Prince Philip was born in Corfu. He was Angela, you're correct, but he was Danish. He wasn't Greek. He was Danish. And then he moved to Paris. So there we are. He had a very tough childhood, Philip, but he went to a wonderful, wonderful school. He went to Gordonston School, which was run by the educator Kurt Hahn. And Kurt Hahn was Jewish, and Hitler had put him in prison. And near to Gordonston School is Lossy Mouth. And the uh, man from Lossy Mouth was James Ramsay MacDonald, the first Labour Prime Minister. And James Ramsay MacDonald got cut Han out of prison in Germany, him and Sir John Simon. Do you know the Corries? I adore the Corries, Andy. Do you like Germany? I love Germany, ja. Nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. But uh, I love, love Germany. Yes, and in fact... Our beautiful friends and allies and business people, Germany, uh, we built up the EU together, you know. A socialist government will never work. Taking from the rich and the dividing to the poor won't work. Well, Ryan, it depends, but you could take a little bit, you see. So if you've got somebody earning a salary of, say, 
50 million pounds a year, could they perhaps spare a few pounds to feed a wee child who's not had any breakfast, who dreams of Santa bringing them beans on toast? Yeah. So I'm not talking socialism, talking a little bit of fairness. And I would negotiate with these very wealthy guys and say, look, you need to uh, spare a bit, you know. What have we got here? Ich bin ein Berliner, means I am a donut. You're correct, Gemerale, and I don't think you are a donut. Is it true Prince Philip's dad was executed? No, it's not true, Mac. It's true his grandfather was executed. He was shot. His father could have been executed, but we sent a destroyer and got him out, and Prince Philip was taken out in an orange crate. Uh, what part of Greenock were you brought up in? Do you know uh, Nelson Street and Brisbane Street? That's the places. So there we go. Gentlemen, I thank you very much. Are you a Haggis fan? Well, everybody's a Haggis fan, but only at certain times of the year. Do you think Charles should be king? Of course. He is the natural successor. There we are. See you, Jimmy. How did Philip's sister die? Well, it depends which one. Uh, one of them was killed in a shocking air crash, and her newborn baby died with her. It was born on the aircraft. Uh, what are your pronouns? We never, ever ask anybody pronouns. I'll give you my nouns. My nouns are Scotty McClue. Jin Min, what are you doing? Your background, Jin Min has just sent another 65 TikToks. Six, five. For goodness sake. Uh, so there we go. Now then, who have we got here? Scotty Boyo, Dinky Do. So there you are. Yes, Paul, I mean, everybody does. Uh, the far north of Scotland become independent. Um, yes, well, if Scotland becomes independent, then it will. Ryan Davies, thank you so much. That's very generous. Ryan, don't send all your pennies to Scotty McClure. Your folks will wonder what you're doing. I watched some of your first videos and liked and commented. Lee, thank you. I will check. <clears throat> Guys, have we followed Scotty McClure, please? Can you do so? Yes, I can see they've shown up. The likes have shown up. Guys, can you go and like Scotty McClure's videos? So there we are. Thank Ryan. 50 TikToks. Come on, man. A wee bit generous. <coughs> go live in the jungle. There we are. David Attenborough. I'll do my David Attenborough impressionation. Do you like this one? Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape. Across the Arctic tundra, this wasteland has no movement or life until we see a very slight movement. <coughs> it's the one occupant of the Arctic, the Arctic fox. Do you like that? You're now my favourite TikToker. I'm loving the content. Ryan, that's so kind of you, though. Really, really, really generous. Thank you. Because I'm saving up for a new phone. I'm going to buy a new phone eventually. It'll take a long, long time on TikToks. Paul McLaren, you need to go and get some serious treatment for your problem. I would think not a psychologist, a psychiatrist. <coughs> Hang on a sec, guys. There we go. Hold on. There's Paul. Right, he's gone. You've got problems, Paul. If that's the way your mind works. Wonder what I just missed that there. Hold on. I wonder what Prince Philip is up to. There we are. Prince Philip will be sitting at the right hand of God. I'll tell you that, Corey, for nothing. There we are. You're my second best TikToker, as ever. What does Dinky Doo mean? Dinky Doo means it's all well with you and the world. How lovely. Let's go, Scotty. 
Let's go, Scotty. How are you doing today? I am Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo means it's all well with you in the world. Hope you're having a good weekend. I am Carolyn. Thank you. Very, very good weekend. Now, uh, guys, I'm just going to see. I need some followers. Have you all followed me? When you come on, no, you haven't. Right, guys, can you follow me, please? You tap the little sign at the top. Top left. Yeah, and if you can follow, it says follow the host. Harry Styles or Justin Bieber, both excellent performers. <laughs> okay, so let's have a follow fest, please, to see if we can get this up. James has just joined us, dinky do. Follow, follow, please. I'll hang on for you. Brilliant. A wee follow fest. That would be great. If everybody could do that and uh, check out the TikTok videos because they're quite amazing. You know, and that's what I've been told. I've been told back, you know, people say, your lives are amazing. Right, so we can do a bit of following. That would be just fabulous, Fabby do. Let me check if we've had any more likes. Yes. Excellent. Oh, yes. Celtic Rangers says, New Day. New Day, you'd be best to go and watch them play. You can go to what they call an old firm game or an old firm derby and uh, where Celtic Rangers are playing and just back the best team. You know, just say, I'll go with them because they are winners. Who will take over the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme? Well, I think Prince Edward, who is a real top man, has already taking it over, really, to be honest, Angela. So I know he was doing a lot with it, and he knows his father's shoes are very big shoes to fill. To fill, do you see what I did there, to fill? Uh, so there we are. Yes, I say to fill. I join with the rest of the world in mourning, a great man. Noodle says, I went there, it was scary, but Celtic all the way. Well, there you go. You're asking me, Celtic or Rangers, and you've already made a decision. But it's not cast in stone. If you want to change to Rangers, you can. But do be careful if you're going to Celtic Park and you're right up the Celtic end and you're wearing your hoops scarf, you know, just make sure your Rangers scarf isn't sticking out your pocket. Yes, just keep an eye on that. So there we go. Ken, yes, off you go. You'll know where it is. You're smart, says Evan. Very kind of you, Evan. I've never been told that before. Thank you. That's very kind of you. There we are. Smart. Do you mean smartly dressed? Smart looking? That sort of idea. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I want some followers and some likers. Can somebody volunteer to go and like the videos till we see if it shows up here. All right, very, very important. Très important. That's good of Prince Edward. Prince Edward's an exceptional guy. I was going to say an exceptional young man, but he's, he's, he's growing up now. Well, Prince Edward will be... No. No, he can't be. Prince Edward must be about 56 or 57. Is that right? Have I got that right? He might even be. Prince Edward might be coming up to 58. There we are. Just Celtic. Uh, hill, hill. Hill, hill, Connor, yes. And as soon as you say hill, hill, I like a balanced view, so I have to say um, we are the people up the jars. That sort of stuff. Shout out to Barry Boy. Yes, absolutely. A Rangers supporter would be safe at the Celtic end. Might get a bit of a slaggy. Christopher says any Rangers supporter would be safe at the Celtic end. Might get a bit of a slaggy. Well, just if you got it wrong, if you went into the wrong end, covered in your Rangers gear, you know. We are the people, correct? Absolutely dazzle. Just in the interest of balance. He's only a year younger than me. I think, yes, I think Prince Edward could be 57. Or 58, incredible. He was born, oh, sorry, he was born in March 64. So he's not, he's 50, 56. Is that right, Shaz? Am I, is my maths good? 
Guys, please follow me as soon as you come on. Good afternoon, Scotty. Good afternoon. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue Live on a Sunday. Tremendous stuff, that. This is the difference between us. There's Shaz. Thank you to Shaz. <laughs> Shaz has joined us. Always love when Shaz joins us because she's a joyful person. There we are. Right. Um... I need some more likes and some more follows. March has already been so 57. Absolutely, Ryan. So Prince Edward's 57. Amazing. And he's taking over the um, the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, as far as I know. A-F-A-I-K. Thank you, Scotty. Not at all, Shaz, no. We love when you come on because you bring joy. You see, you bring joy with you. That's the stuff. And we love all the joyful people. That was the whole reason, the raison d'etre. See what I just did there? The whole raison d'etre. TMCD, you've already been very generous. Thank you. Very, very kind. Guys, you've all been so generous during the live here, sending me all these beautiful gifts. Aha! There we are, Brian Blessed. <laughs> I thank you. And yes, isn't it? Brian Blessed. Um, no, um, this is why we did the lives in the first place, Chance, because I felt the news was so depressing, the world needed a lift. And I Scott, what better way to give people a lift than to pop up on TikTok and have a chat to them all, see how they are. There, my instinct tells me the Huns are going to get wide. No, the Huns were the first world war corner. So there you go. You know, absolutely, yes, indeed. Uh, so there, why would you have, why would you call Scottish people Huns? <laughs> I love you, Scotty. Woohoo! Woohoo to you, Connor. Hello from Palestine. We love to have you with us from Palestine. Do you think troubles will start again in Northern Ireland? No. I think it's a lot of very badly behaved young people who need to be taught a lesson. You know what I mean? I think that would be the first thing to do with these. Uh, so there are. What's your opinion on Jacob Rees-Mogg? I feel he'll become Prime Minister. Well, you see, I think Boris became Prime Minister at the wrong time for Boris, really, because Boris is obviously a bit light-hearted and a bit of a fun star, very clever, clever man. But, uh, you know, you need a very heavyweight, serious prime minister in situ at the moment dealing with the pandemic. Are you Scots? Um, yes, I would say so. But I'm a child of the universe. So I'm also from the African Rift Valley via Ireland. <laughs> Same as the rest of us. Uh, Celtic Rangers, like a war, we relate to them as Huns. Oh, right. I used to call I used to call my girlfriend Hun. Not not because I loved her, because she was she was she was from Germany. Uh, so there we are. Scotty is a great day for the gardening. Get yourself out, get some fresh air. Johnny boy, you couldn't have put your nose out the door yesterday. Is it still cold? Tell me that. When you look at the riots, it's loyalist young lads. They want division well. The loyalists need to embrace everybody and say, my Catholic brother, I love and respect you with all my heart. Yes, that's what they need to be saying. And they need to say, we are Irish at heart, but we like Britain and that sort of thing as well. But, you know, that's what they need to start learning to do. Very, very important. Prince Philip's funerals on Saturday. You see, what's the point in spending your life fighting? Life's hard enough. Do you see what I mean? So I think we shouldn't allow people to an old firm game unless they come with a partner from the other side. And we don't have the other side. They're all together. What about mixing the ends? So when you look up, it's a sea of green, white, red, and blue. When you look up an old film game. Shall we try that? 
Glasgow United. Prince Philip's funerals on Saturday, yes. I'm not be going because of COVID. So there we are. You have a bogey. I do have a bogey, yes. It's in the garage. I haven't taken it out for a while. It's uh, got pram wheels, and my father made it, and it is amazing. You steer it using uh, ropes, and uh, you have to stop with your feet there, but it's actually got some brakes as well. So, yes, I very much have a bogey. I think every young Scottish boy brought up in the 60s and 70s had a bogey. Uh, Scotty is a bit nippy outside. It's a bit like yourself with all these dafties. Well, Johnny boy, we have to nip the dafties. Scotty, you've made my day. Connor, you've made our day with your kindness and your thoughtfulness. You're a great credit to your team. So there we are, mon the hoops and up the jars. What's your opinion of the Belfast riots? They need to shut them down right away. And I think that these youngsters... Uh, you know, they should maybe bring back the birch and give them a leathering to teach them that you don't chuck bricks at police fans. That is just a big no-no. You respect the police. Guys, follow us when you're coming on. Dinky do. There we are. Fantastic. Evan, no, I don't fish. There we are. And I don't shoot, although I am a crack shot. Fantastic. I remember once I go at clay pigeons and the guy said, Phew. You, you've done this before, haven't you? I said, well, long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I had one too in England. They're called trolleys. Mine was also steered by ropes. Reverend, how lovely to have you with us, Reverend Cass. I, I send you respect, sir, on the Lord's Day. Uh, Boris Johnson's not going to Prince Philip's funeral. Why? Apparently, Angela is to he stepped back out of chivalry to uh, let a member of the royal family go because the numbers are limited. Prince Philip wouldn't have wanted a fuss anyway. I mean, my father's funeral was huge. It was like burying some great Scottish chieftain. But my mother turned to me uh, after the funeral. She said, I, do, I don't want all this. And I said, no, all right, mother. I said, I'll take you round in the Land Rover. And she said, that would suit me. <laughs> How long have we been on the live? Oh, I don't know, Evan. It's still to tell. A good few minutes. We had two lives. One uh, went a bit awry, and my face was all right up to the ends, and I didn't know how to zoom out. So there, can I draw you, Grandpa? Get off, you can do what you like. R.I.P. says Connor. Connor, you are such a gent. What a top man. There we are. I'm so glad that the future of the world is in the hands of people like you, Connor. That's all I'm telling you. Uh, what do you think of how things are in South Africa? Well, they're not ideal for the South Africans, are they? But we send love and blessings to the beautiful, beautiful people of South Africa. There we are. I was a great fan of Nelson Mandela. I thought he was amazing. Uh, Ellie says, what's your pronouns? Ellie, we never ask pronouns on here. We're way beyond all that. We are all inclusive. So we don't need to know anything about anybody, really. We just say hi. As long as you give me a handle to call you by, that's fine. There we are. OMG. Are you Pakistani? No, but what a lovely compliment. Thank you. Yes, to the noble people of Pakistan. Always very sorry about how India was divided up. Very harsh. <laughs> Pardon me. Guys, can you follow me, please? We're short on followers. Let me see. Has anybody followed when they came on? I think it's just laziness. People forget. And they forget to follow. <clears throat> Can somebody go and like the videos, please? I've brought you lots of beautiful, beautiful TikTok videos for liking. Celtic Arrangers, says Fraser. We've just been discussing that, Fraser. I'm saying your best bet, if you're unsure, is to go along to what's called an old firm game and watch the two teams play and then make a decision, you know. And it's not cast in stone. You could change your decision. Scotty, we can't live forever. Even yourself will depart this world. Oh, especially myself. No doubt about it, Johnny. I'm quite resigned to that fact. I just hope it'll be a long time away. 
I don't think any of the Duke's sisters are still alive. I don't think so, Angel. I think he's the last of them because his mother's sister was married to Lord Mountbatten, the lovely old Lord Mountbatten. There we are, such a brave man. Who do you support in the old firm, Scotty? Well, I think that um, the Celtic are outstandingly good. And I think the Rangers are outstandingly good. So I would support them both in the old firm. I might go along and I might think, I hope may the best team win today. You know, because I don't do all that crazy, you know, and all that shouting. Although I must confess, some of the chat is funny, genuinely funny. There we are. Excellent stuff. And um, thoughts on crocs. You don't want to get too close to them. You know, I was once friendly with a crocodile on uh, on Snapchat. Oh, see what I just did there. The only plane the day. Says Connor. Quite right, Connor. Have you ever been to an old firm? Uh, no, if you want the truth. No, I never have. I never went to a football match till I was 40. And I shared an agent with George Best, and my agent took me along to a football match. And then uh, I was once invited into the boardroom. Well, I went to the boardroom. And I was invited again to the board. See, Scotty McClure can go to any of the boardrooms in football and be welcomed. But I don't watch football, so I can't tell you. Do you like Portsmouth? I love Portsmouth. Yes. Oh, looking over to the Isle of Wight and over to um, Osborne House, Queen Victoria and Albert's home. Scotty, what do you make of the demise of all the shops in the Oak Mall Green? I opened the Oak Mall in Greenock, Johnny Boy. It was opened by Scotty McClue about 25 years ago. Would that be right? And I'm just so sorry. Greenock needs rejuvenated. If we get independence, I would like to say to Nicholas Sturgeon, can I... Um, run Greenock and rejuvenate it and bring business and turn it into the financial capital of the world. Because look at what a fabulous place. Look at where it's situated. Look at the lovely people that could do with some decent jobs. So I'm afraid I'm very, very devoted to Greenock. So there we are. Scotty McClue. Thank you. So what's that stand for? The go on at all times. Is that right? There we are. G-O-A-T, go on at all times. Had a lovely thing to say. Thank you. Do you watch much motorsport? No, I don't really get the chance to watch sport. See, um, believe it or not, I'm a very, very exceptionally busy man. Uh, taking in knowledge, learning new things, talking to people, interesting people who could be anyone. There we are, that sort of stuff. What's your favourite place on the Isle of Wight? I've only once been to the Isle of Wight. Do you know Healing Island? You know, I've only once been to the Isle of Wight and I loved uh, Osborne and Cows. So there we are. I once camped at Healing Island. Do you know that one? Thoughts on vegan activists? Well, I'm not big on any activists because they tend to have a bias and they tend to be angry. And that's not good for them and it's not good for the world. Plus, I've heard that vegans produce a lot more methane than carnivores. And that might not be good for the greenhouse gases. Do you see what I'm saying? Guy, okay, mate, what character did you okay and still game? I didn't okay, uh, I didn't play and still game, but somebody said that I was the inspiration for still game. Now, interesting. Hello from Glasgow, completely agree, says Ryan. Scotty, when the luxury cruises arrive in Greenock, there's a potential trade for new shops, yes. And I've seen a cruise liner in at Greenock. I thought they'd extended the town. <laughs> you could see it from anywhere. I was coming along Eldon Street. I could see the cruise ship. <laughs> 
I'm back, Evan. We love it. So there we are. Connor Politics has joined. Welcome, Connor. Always lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Right. I will need to go and uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, Alistair McDonald, the folk singer, is he still uh, still with us? I hope so. You just love watching. I saw him in the shops uh, not that long ago. Have you ever been to Canada? No, but I'd love to go. I've got friends in Canada and family in Canada. Family and friends. You can't say better than that. And a lot of my relatives went to Canada. Uh, some went to, um, now it's called after Mull, um, Calgary in Alberta. Is that right? Ryan Davis, thank you so much for your kindness. Ryan is very, very kind. Hello from Bradford. I used to broadcast on the Pulse. Favourite Royal Palace, Scotty? So many. Scotland is stuffed with Royal Palaces. We'll talk about this next time we're out. Uh, bye, guys. Have a lovely day. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Thank you for watching. It's been lovely being with you. A real privilege. Get yourselves on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You can either put that in your search engine or you'll see the link to it if you tap the little Instagram link right beside my profile where you're watching now. Please follow me. And please like all the Scotty McClue videos because they're outstanding and they're made for you. Cheers, guys. Dinky do. See you all later. Taralas. Have a lovely day.